it's Rush Marty signing in. And I'm Herman Nerman. Hey everybody, welcome back to Code of Golf Team. Today we're installing a graphics card. So, the graphics card I've picked out is a Zotac GeForce by NVIDIA GT 10, 710, I should say. And it's got, what is it? It's PCI Express 2.0 support. So, the main reason I want with this one, I didn't go with something like a 1050 or a 1080. My budget is, which is only like $300. So, so we're going to see if we can actually maybe do a little gaming in HD and see how actually video editing and recording goes better. So I'm just going to pop the side off. There'll be two screws located here and here. I want to screw those. It comes off just fairly pull easily in case, unless you get it stuck, which I got it stuck. So this here, is, this here says that a minimum is a 300 power supply, but really you should have at least a, two, a 350. Because otherwise you'll find you'll be wanting a lot more power. We're going to open it up. It's a real shame to open it because it's really nice packaging. <laughs> I'm getting way too excited over this. So this is actually the first time I've ever installed a graphics card. So this will be fun. Especially after cleaning up sewer and crap today. Just Yeah, so our sewer is stuck today. Kind of like the sticker is stuck. And so yeah, we had to get an air compressor and blow her out. It was a nasty, smelly business, and this is why I like the tech industry. It's clean, you're not dealing with someone else's crap, and you're not dealing with your own crap. You know, I'm kind of considering just cutting open the knife right now. So, the first things we see here is the Zotac driver with an awesome little sticker here that I'm going to stick on the side of this. So now, inside the box, what we actually have been waiting for is in this bag here. So this one here is a 16X pin so it's got 16 slots here so even if you have a 4 slot or a 6 slot or 8 slot it'll work as long as if you have a big enough slot in your computer which is right there so this mine's a 16 slot here so all of the graphics cards should work for it before you plug it in you're going to want to remove oh yeah that's a good point a few slots Just make sure it's the one that corresponds with the actual slot so the slots can well, line there so it's going to plug it into there I don't like that sound. Here, push it outwards. Uh, there we go. So once you once it gets bending, then it comes fairly easily. Push it. Then if you bend it, we'll go back and forth a few times. Be sure not to scratch anything on the motherboard because you don't want to do that. So wreck stuff, and it pops out fairly easily actually. But we popped out the wrong one if I'm right because. I'm not too. I'm not overly concerned if I have an empty slot here. It's only going to upgrade my cooling. So hey, so there we go. Pop the third one out now. Hopefully, third time, third tries a charm, as they always say. Or it should actually just slip in, clip in nicely. And you don't want to apply too much force, but because because in case you're putting it in wrong, but it looks like it's going in right, and it should clip shut once you get it in. Oh, there we go. So, we're there. So, yeah. Uh, I'll push okay. it in enough, and then I'll clip shut. Sure enough. Once you push it in, then that tells you that it's good to go. So, typically, if it were a bigger graphics card, you would have to insert some screws in here, so it's on our way down. But this guy is a pretty small little guy, so he's going to be all good. He won't be, he won't weigh down and bend anything. So, then all you have to do is snap this shut, and you are good to go. Just like that. Oh, one thing I should mention is that this one didn't require any additional PCI Express power because it's it's a pretty small little guy. If you guys had a bigger one and you'd see a slot, typically it's going to be located there. And you would want to plug this six pin into that. But we're all good, so we can just tuck this in the back. It's not required. Alright, so now that we have the physical graphics card installed into the computer, we're going to need that disc that you saw kicking around in the box. So, mine's Zotac if you're using an AMD graphics card or using an intel graphics card doesn't matter which one just be sure you take that disc out you want to pop that sucker into the drive all right so we've got the disc in the drive here but that's not going to be the first thing we're going to do the first thing we want to do is we're going to go to control panel see if you guys don't know how to get there windows bind scroll all the way down system control panel and then we're going to click uninstall program and we're going to want to uninstall the already graphics driver that's in there so mine was an intel but um, this is, I've already got my graphics driver installed because I cannot record without a graphics driver. So, all you have to do is you'll see something, so if you have Intel, I'll say Intel graphics driver. So, I've got mine here, so that's Firestorm there. 
Ah, NVIDIA graphics driver right there. So if you're placing a new video one, it's gonna say graphics driver. You want to click that and you want to uninstall it. So I don't want to install mine. No, cancel. Cancel. Whoa, easy there. So, and then you're just gonna click uninstall it. You'll be required to restart your computer. Once your computer gets restarted, then you won't have a graphics driver installed. So then what you're gonna to wanna to do is then head on over to your disk, open it up. And then from there, it might not look like this, but you basically say driver installation. So I've already got it installed here. So you just click there and then you'll see which operating system you want to go with. So my one with Windows 10 64 bit. If you guys have XB, who XB is getting pretty old, 32 bit Vista or 7 or 8, doesn't matter really which version you go with, just be sure it corresponds with your actual version of Windows. So mine's Windows 10 with 64 bit. Okay, and if you guys don't know if your computer is a 64 bit, it'll be located. You should see it on there'll be a sticker on the side of your computer saying what version of Windows you have. Alright, so now you've got your graphics driver installed, you're gonna to want to get it updated. So I can actually find mine. I have no idea where it went. But once you install it, you'll see it pop up in your screen, right in your face. So you want to look around for the check for updates button. Because by the time you actually get the disc into your hands, it's gonna be so outdated that some people will actually prefer to just download it straight from the NVIDIA website, but Depending on how well the, how easy it is to manage around the website, you might as well just install the driver and then update it from there. So, I cannot actually find mine. There's like no shortcuts to it. So, I've like got like GeForce Experience 3D Vision Pack, but the actual graphics driver is installed. It did make it. It's installed. As you can see, it's right there, but I can't see it all right so i said it was going to be testing out some gameplay so we're going to a quick benchmark see if this is better than integrated graphics so the game i'm playing is metal of honor airborne it's uh 2010 so it's seven years old but you can play in full hd with high texture settings so we're going to check it out and i couldn't even record and play video games at the same time with my integrated graphics so let's see if this is actually a step up from integrated graphics Choose. Eat this! Ooh. Oh, just nasty! Oh, oh. Okay, so I think that was test enough, and so I took a look at the video, and the tests were conclusive. This graphics card is 10 times better than an integrated graphics card. I can actually get 10 frames per second in full HD top texture settings. So that's 10 times better than that one frame per second I was getting with my integrated Intel graphics. So I rate this 10 out of 10 for the price range for only $70. What was I expecting, right? So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions or comments about installing a graphics card or anything to do with technology, leave that down in the comment section. Be sure to leave a like before you leave. And if you guys enjoy what we do, and we guys help you out, be sure to subscribe as well. I'll be seeing you tomorrow, or whenever tech news breaks, or whenever my computer breaks because of Microsoft's Forest updates. Marshall Marty out. And now, the best part out of the whole box. And that's this spit thicker right here, guys. Oh yeah, look at that. Zotac. Well, let's pop it off. There goes the warranty just like that. Might as well throw the box in the garbage now, I'm not going to be able to return it now. Now I'm going to stick this sucker here. We're going to put that bad boy right there. Okay, that's not very straight. That looks like crap. Ugh. Okay, well... Oh, God. oh, look, those stickers aren't even all that straight either. You know, I'm going to look at that every day and every day I'm going to think to myself, why? If I had only put it on a little straighter.